Hi, Dero Doers. Submitting a tax report is a legal requirement common to all businesses. However, how tax reports and returns are generated varies from country to country. For example, Belgium uses a grid-based system to generate tax reports, but Odoo supports various other systems. To understand tax reports better, let's see how taxes and accounts are handled. Take a customer invoice as an example. The total amount the customer owes us is 121 euros and is therefore booked in the account receivable. However, the 121 euros is split into two elements, a base amount of 100 euros and a tax amount of 21 euros, as our tax rate is 21%. The 100 euros represents my actual income and must be booked in the income account, whereas the 21 euros is a tax collected on behalf of the government and charged to my customer, which must be booked in the tax received account. The opposite behavior happens for vendor bills. So throughout the fiscal period, the tax received and tax paid accounts will increase after each bill or invoice that we book in our accounting. As we close this fiscal period, we want to balance or settle our tax accounts so that the new period can start at zero. With this done, we can now calculate our taxes by simply doing the sum of the taxes received and taxes paid, and the remaining amount goes to the VAT current account. If it's positive, we have to pay, and if it's negative, we can claim it. Let's take a look at it in Odoo. The first thing we'll do is create a dedicated journal for our tax closing entries. We can do that by going into Accounting, Configuration, Journals, and clicking New. We'll call this one Tax Closing, and we'll set the type to be Miscellaneous. Lastly, we need to give it a short code, so we'll just go with Tax. And now that we have our dedicated tax closing journal, we can go to our settings and we'll scroll down just to our taxes section to find tax return periodicity. And we'll select our new journal here for the tax return. You can select whichever periodicity works best for your business, but we'll be using monthly. So we'll go ahead and save this and come back to click configure your tax accounts. We can see all of our tax groups and then the tax payable and tax receivable accounts. These are what make it possible to automate the tax closing process. Next, we'll take a look at the tax return under the reporting menu. And this might look a little different depending on your localization, but here you can see the Belgian tax report with all of its tax grids. We can, of course, filter this report by the month, quarter, financial year, or any specific dates to see exactly what we're looking for. And we can download it as a PDF or Excel file and even save it to the Documents app. We can also click on this Closing Entry button, and we see that we're using the journal and the default accounts that we saw earlier. If this closing entry has been generated but not yet posted, you can still post more invoices and bills from this period and add them to this entry, either by clicking on this refresh option here or by clicking on the closing entry button again from the tax report. So we'll go ahead and post this report. And here we have some options that apply to the Belgian localization. I'll just go ahead and post. And as you can see, we have a credit here in our VAT current account to show that we need to pay this amount to the government. We also have two activities here that were automatically created, reminding us to send the March tax report and to pay our March taxes. If we go back to the accounting dashboard, we can see that these reminders are also present on the journal itself to make sure that we don't miss them. Now that we've done that, let's take a quick look at our lock dates in the accounting menu. There are a few different lock dates, but the important one for our purposes here is the tax return lock date. This prevents any user from creating or modifying journal entries with tax accounts so that the tax report remains unchanged. And here we can see that the tax lock date has actually been automatically set when we posted the tax closing entry. One important thing to remember is that while companies have separate fiscal periods and lock dates, any branches or subsidiaries will share the fiscal periods of the parent company, but these branches can have their own lock dates. What happens if I post an invoice or a bill with a date prior to the lock date, but after the tax report has been posted? Great question. So let's take a look. So what we'll do is we will create a new vendor bill We'll go ahead and add a vendor and a bill date from 
last month, and we want to also set the accounting date to be in the last month as well. Now, once we add a product, we will see this banner letting us know that the date is set prior to the tax lock date and that the journal entry will actually hit the books after the lock date once it's posted. So that's it for this video on the tax report. Be sure to check out our other videos to see how it works with the rest of the accounting application. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.